Today, we're gonna be talking about the best gaming headset that you can currently buy. What's up everyone, Boba back here at the review table. And today we are gonna be talking about the best gaming headset that money can buy right now. And I am so excited to be talking about this. But first, I just wanna say I hope everyone is doing very well. If you cannot see, my arm is currently in a sling. So, I know in a lot of my other videos, if you've watched some of my other previous videos, I've been talking about snowboarding and stuff. And uh, yeah, I went snowboarding a couple days ago and ended up wrecking on the mountain and actually fractured my shoulder. So yeah, kind of sucks for me, but it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. We're gonna keep trying along on this YouTube journey and reviewing badass tech products. So yeah, so let's get talking about the Corsair Virtuoso RGB Wireless SE. So, you heard me say it, this is the best gaming wireless headset that you can currently buy right now. And I have to be honest with you guys, I have never in my like years and years and years of gaming and playing and buying gaming peripherals, have I ever got my hands on a product that is so well built and so premium and not only is it well built and premium, but it works really well. Again, the Corsair Virtuoso RGB Wireless SE Edition specifically. Now, there are two versions of this. There's the SE, which is like the special edition, which is like the ultra premium edition. And it only comes in dark mocha and black gunmetal. In the other option, I'm not sure what other colors the other Virtuoso gaming headset comes in. Um, but I know there's more options. But today we're gonna be specifically talking about the SE. So first off, let's talk about the build quality of this thing. Um, I mean, it, this headset is so premium feeling, it makes me wanna throw my Sennheisers in the garbage. Like it truly is such a premium headset. It's got leather ear cuffs, so you get that nice sealed closed back design. Everything on this headset that you see that is shiny is metal. So all the brackets, all the joints, all the uh, headband, everything is a very nice aluminum metal. Not only aluminum, but a nice brushed aluminum metal. On the bottom of the headset, and it's kind of hard doing this one-handed, <laughs> you get control. So you get a volume wheel on the right ear cuff, along with a selector for wireless and I just heard it activate on my computer there because I have it plugged in currently, and you have a selector for USB powered. On the right side, you have a 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can actually run this as a wired headset into any type of device that accepts 3.5 millimeter, and you have your microphone input plug right there, and you have USB-C to charge it. So let's talk about what this what comes in the box. So of course you get the ultra premium headset with the nice leathery feel, very well built. You get a detachable microphone, um, which we will be testing later on in the video here. And again, this microphone is metal with a gray rubber base and you get a mute button right at the very bottom of the microphone there. You get a wireless dongle, which I currently have plugged into my computer. You get your 3.5 millimeter to your 3.5 millimeter jack, so it's ready to go out of the box to plug into you know, your iPod, maybe your iPhone or whatever, or any music player that you decide. And you get your USB-C to USB 3.0 cable here for charging and for wired use. They also send this very premium, very nice, well-built, uh, Mag magnetic cloth bag so you can bring your headphones around so we'll just set everything there and that is what this headset comes with now talking about what makes this headset so good first off again the build quality very premium very high quality it just feels amazing and it looks amazing second you're getting a very good microphone um, Corsair claims is this is a very high fidelity noise canceling microphone Again, we'll be testing that. Corsair says that these headphones come with precisely tuned 50 millimeter neodymium drivers in the ear cuffs. And they are using their, what they call their slipstream wireless technology, which 
reduces input delay and has high bandwidth, similar to Logitech's Lightspeed. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how this headset looks. So let me try to put these on with one arm. Oh. <laughs> so this is how the headset looks. Definitely not a low profile headset. Comfort wise, 10 out of 10, amazingly comfortable. A little bit on the heavy side because they are using aluminum for a more premium feel. But as far as comfort, the plush leather ear cuffs that they have on here are absolutely amazing. The other thing that you will notice about this headset is you actually get Corsair's 7.1 surround sound, which again, we're gonna be testing later and I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel about it. Also, you do get a hint of RGB on this headset. Uh, if you look on the side of the ear cuffs here, there's actually like a brushed metal, a brushed aluminum that is translucent and you can actually tune the RGB on the sides of the ear cuffs. Though again, I always find RGB on gaming headsets kind of redundant because you're wearing them, you're not really seeing them. But for the people that really do love RGB, hey, you get some RGB in this. We talked about the build quality. We talked about the premium feel. So let's talk about the price real quick. Current version that I have was around $210 and it was from Best Buy. Now I will put in the video exactly what price, what the lowest price is that I can find it. And there will be a, a link in the description to Best Buy where you can buy this. Of course, it is a affiliate link and it is no extra cost to you. It's just a way to help out the channel if you choose to do that. Anyways, let's hop over to the testing table. Let's test this microphone and play some games with this. And I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of the sound quality. All right, everybody, Boba testing out the microphone on the Corsair Virtuoso SE Edition microphone. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the same microphone that they use on the Standard standard Edition. Um, again, this is in the Dark Mocha profile. I absolutely love this headset. Um, honestly, like I've kind of been a stickler on headsets lately, and I have just kind of don't really give gaming headsets a good review normally, I feel like. I mean, generally I give them a pretty good review, but I will tell you guys that I absolutely love this headset. I love the way it feels. I love the comfort. I love the sound of the microphone and the sound of it all together is just great. So let's hop over and take a look at the software real quick. All right, everyone. So this is the software, the um, Corsair IQ software. So this is the software you would use to mess with your headset here so you get these eq presets so you can change the sound to like movie theater fps which is going to bring out footsteps better um clear chat bass boost for music and then peer direct i generally just leave it on peer direct because i feel like it sounds very good and then if you want to you can mess with things like audio auto audio uh, repositioning you can turn it off and on you can also change it from you can change it from surround sound 7.1 to stereo. Now, one thing I really like about this headset, and I think some other Corsair headsets do this, is anytime I press a button, like for instance, when I mute the microphone, it it gives me a audio signal. It like a female's voice essentially sounds like, I don't know, it, just a female voice comes over and says, mic on mic off surround on surround off so i think that's really cool you know you're never like you never have to question whether something is working or not on this headset because it just tells you in the headset that something on and something is off now of course you can mess with the lighting you can change it if you look here you should be able to see some lighting um i really don't really ever turn lighting on headsets again i find it kind of redundant because again it's a headset um so I don't really mess with it too much. And I'm just changing some of the lighting settings here um, because again, you know, it's a headset. I'm not looking at it and whatnot. So I told you guys I was gonna test the surround sound on this headset. Uh, apparently I had forgotten that I have literally broken my shoulder and I can't really use a mouse and keyboard very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my wife come up here and play a game while I listen to it with surround on and surround off. So I will catch you guys in a minute, checking out the sound. How's it going everyone? Boba back here at the review table and I hope you guys enjoyed that microphone test. Like usual, Corsair has their microphones knocked out of the park and they sound very good. Now, as far as sound goes for this headset, the sound is really, really good. This is a very good sounding headset. 
The only thing it suffers from, for at least someone like me, that most wireless headphones suffer from, is you do need to turn up the volume just, just a bit to get that extra sound that you really want. Uh, and I've noticed that with a lot of uh, gaming style wireless headsets. But as far as everything else goes, this is hands down the best gaming headset on the market today. Like just hands down, like there, there's just no doubt about it. The sound on this headset, like I said, is very good. But when you play like an Epic game, again, I've been playing a lot of Doom Eternal. So I had my wife hop on Do Doom Eternal while I put the headset on and I had her toggle in between 7.1 and a stereo mode. And I will tell you guys that the 7.1 is great on this headset. Sounds amazing. You get, uh, just it just opens up the game like a surround sound normally does. Now, I would not use surround sound if you're doing competitive gaming games like Counter-Strike or Valorant because again, surround sound or the artificial surround sound that they use on a lot of gaming style headsets generally will cause input delay and um, directional type issues when you're trying to hear enemy footsteps. So I would keep it on stereo mode. And this headset in stereo mode also sounds really, really good. So really not losing much if you turn it off and just leave it on stereo mode as well. Because again, this headset sounds very, very good. As far as any everything, I mean, this is just a guaranteed buy. If you are on the market and you want to get the best gaming headset that has a really good built-in microphone or detachable microphone you want a premium quality feel and you just want the best of the best corsair virtuoso rgb se is going to be the headset for you um, it is an absolute beast of a headset i am so happy that i have it and i have to tell you guys i've got some pretty good headsets on my gaming setup and this thing is not going to be leaving my desk so yeah all right guys if you guys enjoyed this content, I've got more reviews on my channel. I do tech review. I do. I try to do at least two videos weekly. So if you like this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll catch you guys next time.